Good morning. Happy Saturday morning, 716. We have a nice weekend ahead of us. Warm temps, mainly dry conditions. Things looking pretty good. Two thumbs up, two thumbs down, though, as we continue to watch Dorian. Just what a terrible, a scary situation that's continues to develop. We'll get to that in a second. Live Doppler radar right now is showing nothing for us to track. We've got a nice, steady, stable weather pattern in place in our area, and we'll continue to see that through this weekend. The effects of Dorian possible, if we do see any, depending on this track, would be more rainfall, you know, a couple strong gusts possible. But here's Dorian right now, Category 4 hurricane, as it continues to slowly move west-northwest at 12 miles per hour, going through the Bahamas as a Category 4. Now, here's the, the thing, the good news since the last update that we've been talking about all morning. It's now kind of shifted to the right, so it's going to go up Florida's coast as opposed to hitting more inland. So it still can see some very scary, dangerous flooding. You can still see the strong storm surge, the gusty winds, the damaging winds. Still very, very, very strong storm but it's going to really remain on that coast. So the coastal impacts are going to be huge with this storm as it continues to churn up the coast. And then by Thursday, still, we're looking at Category 2. You can see those gusts up to 110 miles per hour as it hits the South Carolina coast, just to the south of Charleston. So again, those coastal cities, a very big impact with that as this continues to make its trek up our area. And further inland again, as far as the upstate and the mountains go, really not a huge impact as of right now as it continues to stay on the coastal area and that's kind of what we're looking at as we do take a look at that GFS model and it's really sticking to the coast but then afterwards we can see a few of those showers so hurricane force winds tropical storm force winds life-threatening storm surge very heavy rainfall local impacts coastal impacts late week and then the rain and flooding inland depends on the track so nothing for us today things actually looking pretty good for your weekend not going to be too bad at all we're not seeing much in regards to those winds current temps 50s and 60s this morning and our highs today upper 80s and low 80s is what we'll see in the mountains so your virtual skycast is showing plenty of sunshine by 4 p.m a temp of 82 degrees is what you will see in Asheville and Spartanburg noon 82 4 p.m a temp of 88 degrees. So we're looking pretty good here in the upstate in the mountains. Warm day, nice day, mostly dry, not bad for your Labor Day. Sun and warmth on Tuesday, staying warm. And in the mountains, we'll see those temps continue in those 80s with plenty of sunshine.